Obtain the mesh file and the full training movie via this link. In this project, we will simulate coronavirus dispersion in an elevator cabin due to the sneeze. The geometry of the present model is designed using SolidWorks and Design Modeler software. The geometry of the model includes an elevator cabin with dimensions of 2 meter by 2 meter by 2.8 meter, in the, inside which two people are modeled. One of the two people is, is patient and should be identified as the source of the cough. Hence, the inner surface of the patient's human mouth is differentiated by the inlet mouth boundary condition. Because this surface is assumed as reference boundary of the discrete phase coronavirus release. The meshing of the model is carried out using ANSYS meshing software and the mesh type is unstructured. The element number is equal to 454,433. In order to define an algorithm to solve the fluid flow, uh, we double click on the viscous button and a new window will appear. In the appear window, you can see that RNGK epsilon model is activated. Uh, also, uh, we have chosen RNGK epsilon over the standard form uh, because the RNG is more accurate and uh, gives us better results than the standard format of K epsilon. Also, by clicking on droplet bar particle, you can see that water liquid material has been defined and designated for this particle. Uh, you can add a new material to this part just like the previous steps. You just have to right click on droplet particle material and then select new. After that in the appear window you either can add a new material by defining its properties yourself or you can click on fluent database and select from the available list of materials. By clicking on thermal tab, you can see that the backflow total temperature is defined to be 300 Kelvin, which means that if there is a backflow into the commutational domain through this outlet boundary, its temperature would be 300 Kelvin. After double clicking on the initialization button, a new window will appear. In the appear window, you will see that hybrid initialization method has been chosen, uh, which means that an average is taken from different part of the computational domain, and these averages are set to be the first and initializing values for our simulation. In the appear window, under the release from section, we select the inlet air, and after that, by clicking on save or display button, the software will show you the streamline for this project. Now, in this control, you can easily see how the particles have moved towards the outlet boundary. In order to extract another 3D contour, just have to change the variable from velocity, for example, to temperature. Again, by clicking on apply, the software will give you the 3D temperature contour. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. Obtain the mesh file and the full training movie via this link. To benefit from Mr. CFD services, including simulation, consultation, and training, contact our experts via info at mrcfd.com. To benefit from Mr. CFD services, including simulation, consultation, and training, contact our experts via info at sign mrcfd.com. Hope you enjoy.